Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm it to Dr. Mati Banan. I'm a fellow classmate. We are from Group 2. We present our business to business market analysis. This is uh, our group members. Start with um, Miss Akila, Miss Amanina, Mr. Amirul, and me myself, Nur Izzat Nabila. And the last one is Miss Shara. I will start this presentation with company, company overview first. Our company name is known as Panisham Resources, which is a company that provides beverage products to businesses out there that searching for a chocolate drink powder product that has a good quality at a, reason, at a reasonable price. <coughs> Panisham Resources is a distributor and supplier company that supplies product uh, to businesses in wholesale unit quantity. Our company primary distribution channel to supply our product is uh, Alibaba.com. Alibaba.com is a global electronic marketplace that supports uh, several businesses in buying, selling and distribution of goods and suitable for businesses to businesses transaction. Our companies choose this type of platform because Alibaba.com's platform enable us to sell in bulk and distribute our product widely internationally also throughout the world. Our target market for the for distribu distributing the material uh, is a small and large enterprise and client who demand and need the best high quality raw materials with uh, superior nutrition for various types of industries. Choco Plus can be resold by other businesses as a part of their everyday selling activities. Our company operational uh, tasks as a wholesaler and distributor for businesses include making and packaging choco plus, advertising, raising brand awareness through social media, and looking for new companies in the market who require our product as a material. Next is our company organizational chart which is consists of a uh, Chief Executive Officer, Chief of Human Resources, Chief of Marketing, Chief of Finance and also Chief of Operating. This is our company logo as you can see in the slide. As you can see, wording that show in the logo is our company name which is Banisham Resources. When the client see the name of the business in the logo, it helps them form the brain association that this is a Muslim product and it makes simple for them to recall. While the tiny image of cocoa plant is a symbolizes of our company primary product supply element. The logo's background is a black color which aim to evoke a hipster aesthetics and ensure that it blends seamlessly with our product packaging. This is our slogan, mission and vision, also our company's objective. Our slogan is, tak cukup sekali, pasti nak lagi. While our mission is to provide customer and the client with the most nutrient-dense option across a variety of beverage categories, the best cocoa powder and the greatest taste option from morning until night. Our mission, our vision is to be leading competitive and become the first choice in supplying chocolate healthy drink internationally. Next, for our company objective, the first one is increasing sales number to enable our business to assess where it stands with competitors in the sector. The second one, securing the company financial future by establishing financial objectives and targets. The third one, increasing human resources through the hiring of people who can carry out corporate choices, uphold firm productivity and provide training to develop talented employees. Next, focusing a strong emphasis on offering excellent customer service such as speeding up and lowering product delivery and distribution time. The last one is building brand recognition with a social media marketing. In the next slide, I will explain a little bit about our product, which is a Choco Plus. Choco Plus is a premixed chocolate powder that has been produced and offered by our company. It has a several beneficial components for consumers. There is a combination of dates, 
honey as well as a coco plant as a as the main ingredient in the choco plus dates are mostly known as a sunnah meal which well known for providing the energy to human body dates are also a good source of fiber antioxidants and also a variety of nutrients all of which might help digestion and reduce the probability of disease additionally honey or Honey is also well known food with a numer numerous advantages. Honey is a syrupy liquid that honeybees make from the plant nectar. Since people all around the world enjoy its sweetness and depth of flavor, it, it, is, it is utilized in many various recipes and diets. Honey contains a variety of minor ingredients including protein, panel, antioxidants, organic acids, flavonoids, minerals, and also vitamins. Adding dates and honey to our product Choco Plus will give benefits to consumers as well as retailer and reseller by boosting their sales. With the advantages that come with it, it aids them in attracting more clients. Hi, uh, my name is Jura Akila. My metric number is 277371. So, Bunny Resources have created and produced beverage premix in form of powder that suits varied consumer and a business to resell our product at their shop, either physically or online. As we all aware that premix uh, beverages are acknowledged by consumers because of saving time on making the energy drink from our products. Choco Plus premix pow chocolate powder drinks repeatedly increasing in demand in form of business businesses because of the COVID nineteen have urged people to list down time spent outside and need to be home all the time. So, this time, this make them to buy instant drink in the box. The phenomena of panic buying start after government of Malaysia declare of lockdown. Consumers are affected because they need to stock up all the essential products needed in a, in a house. Like Choco Plus premium drinks gain a high demand in market since the Choco Plus is is a ready to drink beverage and easy to buy at all supermarket, hypermarket and grocery store. Other than that, Choco Plus also available at online platform to business to business B2B online platforms such as Alibaba website and, applic uh, and application other applications. Next is market needs. What is market needs? Market needs is refer, refer to practical requirement, aspiration and objective of a target group. A business may recognize a gap in the market demand and develop a product or a service into it. The business may, um, may make a sizable prof profit if the, ad if the audience has a lot of needs. Market needs also can be labeled as marketing needs is another name for the four P's. They cover a wide range of aspects that can be taken into a account when a marketing a product such as what consumer wants, how the goods, services, and are they satisfied with the service, doesn't satisfy those who want, or how the good or service is perceived in a society, how it, how it distinguishes itself from the competition, or how the business and the make, how the business make it engage to its client. Four piece is referred to price, products, promotion, and place. So first, price. Choco Plus has a different rate based on the time to be sold and also quantity of the products. A stocky will make an order by minimum purchase of 12 pack of our product for what for RM 230 ringgit for each packet will cost at 20 ringgit per pack for 1 kilogram per packaging. The price of Choco Plus will be different during the certain section of Ramadan. Uh, this is because our company considering considering of high demand in the Ramadan month, which widely known Ramadan month is Muslim people should stay active until the end of the day, because uh, because of that we increase a little bit uh, at price during that time. During the fasting month, Choco Plus will offer to the supermarket stockies as a wholesale price uh, for RM two hundred and fifty eight ringgit for twelve packet and for 1 kilogram per packet. Also, the wholesale pricing is only good for a minimum purchase of 12 packet. 
During the fasting month, Choco Plus will offer uh, to a supermarket stockist at a wholesale price. So Choco Plus will offer uh, them at uh, 258 ringgit for 12 packet at minimum purchase. So during the fasting month, the cost will be per packet is RM 20, 23 ringgit. If the buyer, if the wholesaler buy fewer than 12 packet, the cost will be different. The next aspect is plates. So our company which Banisham Resources are at Kulim Kedah where the place is industrial surrounded with factories and other companies. Kulim is the place that we choose as our headquarters because of, because of the least busy town in Kedah. The least busy in Kedah, uh, which Kulim, will help to encourage stockies or other businesses to deal with us at official office. Since they are established business, the majority of supermarkets are situated in the town. Developed location as well as the local area are where the, their target customer come from. As a result, this product will receive extensive marketing and be off limit to, custom, uh, to the customers. Additionally, we believe that because of our product is new to market, supplying it to a store with a favorable position will be advantageous for us since more people will be able to eat and able to buy. Promotion Promotion of Choco Plus have been promoted to the consumer and businesses by our official website with the high security to expose buyers' individual details. Our company employs password security as part of its marketing strategy to promote and safeguard particular portion of the website, provide access to members, and send clients direct by email adverts. We also provide flyers and advertisements to promote our products. Banisham Resources also have our own membership package that beneficial to businesses, stockies, local entrepreneurship, and consumers. The, the membership will guide a various of discount every month to attract buyers to invest their money into our company. Into our company. Online platform of promotion also one of our strategy to expand our business because online platforms such as Instagram, Shopee, Lazada, Blog, Facebook and Alibaba website can reach all potential buyers to our com company. Next is product. So, Choco Plus Premium drinks are created to cut time use in the routine life of consumers. The product itself uses high quality ingredients that are imported from the various countries. Choco Plus are Suna drink because uh, the ingredient itself have dates, honey, cocoa powder and milk. And then, Suna drinks are very rare at food and beverage companies. That is the reason a least companies running the same time, the same time of idea and the alternative to make it happen. The packaging of Choco Plus use purple color and we put the graphic pictures of our main ingredient or of the pre powder like dates, honey and milk. So the high demand from the consumers and high demand of Choco Plus or from our stockies, our product is used to the latest technology into a packaging process to maintain a strong seal or the packaging to avoid defect item. Thank you so much for so always telling about the unique selling proposition for our product, which is Coco Plus stands out from the competition because of its distinctive looks and high-end packaging. It also has several health benefits, including boosting energy, energy and metabolism. So, our unique selling proposition are natural ingredients because because Coco Plus provide the vast majority of which comes from carbohydrates, cocoa powder, lake extract, honey extract, dairy free creamer, and the last one is a granulate sugar. Are the four they are the four primary for our components. So each hundred uh, hundred gram is rich in vitamin B vitamins, calcium and iron. For the second one is uh, for the second unit same proposition is cocoa plus polycentric rating strategy were deployed in the hands of independent distribution in the domestic market. The corporation is using a master strategy for penetration pricing in which it offers low price initially to extract a large customer base and influence consumer purchasing decision. We are using and the last one we are using for the packaging which is uh, we are using the recycle for packaging which is a future soft plastic packaging will be recyclable because of 
a first to deploy a circular economy for plastic packaging waste with the government and industry partners. Innovative new recycling technology will significantly facilitate the de development of a circular economy for plastic waste. My name is Wan Nur Amanina Menti Magar Ahmad, matrix number 27743. So in the, every company must have their own rivalry in which they sell services or products identical and related to each other. Through competitive analysis, it helps our company to evaluate how competitive our product and service is to the other companies. Plus, the company can recognize a better marketplace and determine all the threats coming from competitors. In the competitive analysis, it has consists four main aspects consisting of SWOT, which are strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats. Strength is the advantages that company can offer to be different than others. Weakness is the qualities that prevent company from accomplishing their mission and achieving our full potential. Opportunity is external factors that could give an organization a competitive advantage. And the last one tracks is the factor that have the potential to harm an organization. So in the Vanisham resources, we choose two competitors, a big company that could be our competitors, which are Cadbury and Milo. So the first part of SWOT analysis is by our company, which is a product of Choco Plus by Vanisham resources. The strength is our company is focused on delivering a nutritious drink to the consumers. And we have a specialty use of Suna ingredients such as dates and honey. Uh, however, we have a weaknesses which is our product only have a seasonal demand in Ramadan only. This is because the consumer is focusing on their body remain energized. In the opportunity, we able to produce a ready to drink version and supply it into convenience stores such as 7-Eleven, Family Mart and others convenience stores. And for the chat, we think our combination of ingredients between chocolates and honey is quite difficult for other company to combine it. But we try to make our people can accept the combination. We also think that we need a, a strong marketing plan to establish in the market since we are still a new in the market. So the next work analysis is for our competitors, which is a Cadbury. Cadbury have a powerful brand which already has a global presence around the world. The brand is already well known and people already uh, recognize the brand. They also have an international reach that could be their insurance. However, their weaknesses is the limited of product range which they don't have a various of product. They also consist a huge quantity of sugar that could be affected for a consumer to have like a diabetic disease. The next is opportunity in the Cadbury company which their production of healthy chocolate will raise demand from consumers who are concerned about their health. This is mean they can produce more healthier product which consists a low sugar. And the last one is threats for Cadbury company is eating habits who want to maintain balanced diet and concerned about their health are unlikely to buy. So as mentioned earlier that this is one of their threats people are not likely to buy the product which consists of a high sugar of ingredients. So the next competitor is 3-in-1 Active Go by Milo. So the strength of Milo is Milo have a various product other than drinks like protein granola, breakfast cereal and snake bar that are available in some countries as a ready to drink beverages and foods. However, the weaknesses consist of some packaging use and not have diversity in packaging as we know they never change their color their brand also a pattern of font in your uh, packaging they also use the same design of can and labeling at all the pack that they sell but in the term of opportunity they could and able to give a sponsorship a few uh, for a few big sports events for example, a national sport day. And the last one is track. Milo have a weak marketing plan that not up to date with current trends. Since they are already established in market, 
they think that they don't have to do a new marketing plan that up to date with the trends now. Next, the target market of Bunny Sham resources of Choco Plus product will be a stockist from large retail stores. This is referring to supermarkets, hypermarkets and stores. For example, Lotus, Giant, Maidin and Econfit. In general, this will be the best market because these companies are focusing on their goal to create and deliver value to customers, consumers and stakeholders over the long term into a wide range of business sectors, especially food and beverages to the household needs. In addition, we also target the small entrepreneurs that run a business in retail. The small entrepreneurs is referring to the sole proprietorship that opens the business in a local community site. This is due to usually this kind of store will take it in a buck since so they want a wholesale prices. Furthermore, our business also targets the student who want to generate side income at their campus. Since our product is sold at a reasonable price, students are surely can afford it. Besides, Choco Plus Premix drinks are easy to consume because the packaging is in the form of sachet. Next is market segmentation. Market segmentation is a marketing concept that describes grouping prospective customers into segments or groups with comparable demands and responses to marketing efforts. Market segmentation enables businesses to target various customers groups that perceive the, the value of specific goods and services in different ways. There are two types of market segmentation which are geographic and psychographic factors. This segmentation in this business is focusing on the place which we supply the products. Most of the supermarkets are located in the town since they are an established company. Their target customers are not only from their local location but also from rural areas. Therefore, this product will be widely marketed and close to the consumers. In addition, since our product is a new in the market, we think if we supply at a supermarket that has a good location, it will be beneficial for us because more people can consume it. Second is psychography. The segmentation is referring to the lifestyle of consumers. However, in the term of B2B business, this product will be convenient to the place where the majority of the population live in Islamic lifestyle, where they consume sunnah food such as dates and honey. Although the supermarket is an established business, the selection of the location of the supermarket also needs to be considered. For example, this product may be supplied more to Kelantan, Terengganu and Kedah compared to the other states which have a big population of many races. Hello to Dr. Mathi and fellow friends. My name is Nushara Amiti Amri and my magic number is 281361. Now I will continue for pricing and positioning strategy. Positioning strategy describes how an organization wants its buyers to see the goods or services in comparison to the competitors in the same industry. Our company chooses dynamic pricing as the pricing strategy where it is believed that this pricing strategy is the best approach to enter the market and stand up among competitors that offer similar goods. Dynamic pricing is a pricing technique in which organizations modify their goods prices to match for changing demand. So, when demand is high, our company will raise the price. Meanwhile, we will provide discounts when there is little demand. There are three types of dynamic pricing, which are time-based pricing, segmented pricing, and peak pricing. Bunny Sham Resources use time-based pricing where this company sets prices slightly higher when the demand is increased. For example, during fasting month, there will be high demand for nutritious and energy drinks. A lot of buyers, especially Muslim, will go to the supermarket to find drinks that they can mix on their own during sahur and iftar. So, Choco Plus will be in high demand since it offers the ingredients to the customers. Thus, Choco Plus will be sold to supermarket stockists at 258 ringgit wholesale price during fasting month, and the wholesale price is only valid for minimum purchase of 12 packs. If stockists purchase less than 12 packs, the price will be 20 ringgit per pack for 1 kilogram during fasting month. However, when the demand became lower, Banishram Resources dropped the price to 20 ringgit per pack for 1 kilogram and the wholesale price will be 230 ringgit with minimum purchase of 12 packs. 
by doing this dynamic strategy, financial resources can increase the ability to adapt to economic factors as well as achieve high possibilities for significant income growth. So I'm going to tell about a promotion strategy for our product. A successful promotion campaign conveys a clear message regarding the product to an appropriate channel. A company may likely use more marketing, more marketing channels in the promotional strategy that can reach their customer. Okay, so for for our company, we are using the advertising by traditional way, which is we are using radio advertising because radio advertising is one of the best ways to get in touch with local clients and let them know what types of our product that we provide to them. So Coco Plus can be consumed uh, during Suho to help fill the stomach is a low cost and high effectiveness. Second, digital market, digital markets uh, for our company promote itself on the web and provide a user, useful resources to its client client by means of its website. Our company employs password as a part of its marketing strategy both to keep a certain parts of the website private and to allow only members to view particular content and get the get the get the promotional by the event. Lastly for our promotion strategy is the company promote is where company is promote is using print ads which are distributed to current and a potential customer via email, printed printed materials, newspaper, consumer music, magazine, and so on. This print, printed ad will let people know about our product should buy them as a, as a word of mouth marketing. So for the online marketing strategy, as everyone know, online marketing use the internet to reach customer. It's anything people do online to gain attention, viewers, uh, and sales. For our organization, which is for our products, online marketers improve website visitor to boost leads and sales of product using the web marketing, social media application and website as online marketing strategy web marketing web marketing uh, can explore free or paid traffic source with the former seller simply need to invest time companies change our website to boost uh, sponsor source of profits for social commerce uh, is social media uh, meets a retailing na nature nature giving the increased number of consumers who undertake online research before making purchase especially through social media source and create a content marketers are uh, trick their customer to help the purchasing process today more people choose to buy items through apps and website rather than in store so our company distributes Coco Plus to food and beverage category at a wholesale price in Alibaba website. It's an it's an e-commerce. It's a it's an e-commerce platform. Many clients shop on my Alibaba website since it's a convenience. Using e-commerce app makes it easier to communicate with customer about the products. So we can get uh, about the review from them and we can improve by the review that they give in the apps. Now I will continue for break-even analysis part. Break-even analysis is a financial estimation that calculates how many items or services that you need to sell in order to cover the fixed cost and variable cost. The table shown is our fixed cost which is 13 ringgit and 70 cent per unit and variable cost at 6 ringgit per unit where the total cost for producing Choco Plus is 19 ringgit and 70 cent. So the selling price that our company sets is at 20 ringgit for normal price. The break even point is at 6850 and this is the quantity that Panisham need to sell in order to cover the total cost. For the sales forecast, we predict for 3 years from 2023 until 2025. Based on the table shown, Panisham resources have the probability to grow successfully in the same market and will gain competitive advantages among competitors. 
this company forecasted that the revenue will be increased 20% each year, which is 20% in 2024 and 40% in 2025. With this total sales forecast, Panisham can get the bigger picture on how to improvise the product by either, during, uh, by either doing research and development on the existing product or adding some other products so that customers will have multiple options as well as attracting them to buy the products. Lastly, Banisham Resources had identified a few potential problems and challenges in our company. One of it is many established competitors. This is means, as we know, there are many premixed chocolate drinks that are already acknowledged by customer and other business out there. For example, Milo, Overtime, Dutch Lady, and Nestle. These businesses are not only producing chocolate drinks, but also other drinks. Therefore, this will be a threat to Banisham resources in order to remain relevant in the market and demand for the business. The second potential is maintaining branding name. As we know, the brand is important to all stockies and other businesses in order to gain the trust to demand our product as wholesaler supplier. Usually, supermarkets are not responsible for making any promotion or build a brand names. So, we as producer need to make sure the brand is always standard and relevant with other chocolate drink brands. For example, Tesco and Conceif are not promoting any brands. They are only displaying the products only in the rack. So, the last potential problem that we think in our company face is limited supplies of raw material, which is dates. The supply of raw materials and inventory has a substantial influence on the manufacturing process. The inventory of raw materials show the things that the business has purchased or generate for use in the making of products. These are, of course, the company's fundamental requirements for the production process. One of the potential problems that might occur is limited supply of dates. Since our dates is imported from Saudi Arabia, it might be a risk for us regarding a seasonal dates production and logistics issue. To cope with this problem, the purchasing department should be prepared with the contingency planning well. So that's all from us. Thank you.